Did you guys hear about this? Florida lawmakers vote to restrict children's access to social media. So the Florida House of Representatives approved yesterday a bill aimed at barring children aged 16 and younger from social media platforms following similar action in several states to limit online risk to young teens passed by a bipartisan vote of 106 to 13. Now the measure would require social media platforms to terminate the accounts of anyone under 17 years old and use a third party verification system to screen out the under Aged. The legislation now goes to the Florida State Senate for consideration. Republicans, interestingly enough, they control both chambers of the state legislature. So a sponsor said the measure was necessary to protect children from depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues they say are linked to excessive use of social media. Opponents argued that the bill goes too far, with some urging less restrictive measures, such as letting parents opt in or out of allowing their children to use social media. So this definitely caught my ear today. I had to bring in my fellow mom, my Peppa Ito. What do you think about this? I am on two sides of the roads on this, and I have to be careful with the way I phrase things. So, okay. first of all, I, I'm not one for government telling uh. what someone can and can't do, right. right? Because we live in America, we have our freedoms to choose what we want to do. But that's the rebel in me. Mm -hmm. But the m mom in me says they don't allow kids under 18 to smoke because of the physical harm it does to them. Mm -hmm. Now there have been studies and I've talked to uh, kids, uh, kid mentors and kid coaches who say social media and comparison depression are a real thing. Yeah. And so that could also affect them physically. So uh, where is the line here? Is the government telling us we can't allow our kids to smoke cigarettes because it's bad for them physically? Right. But now you have this other hand, mentally, social media can be bad for them. Right. But it's just one of those things where I'm like, don't tell me what to do. But at the same time, if parents aren't out there active in their kids' lives, someone needs to kind of step in for these kids mm -hmm. who don't have the brain development to make decisions for themselves when it comes to you know mental health and things like that. I don't know. What do you think? It's really hard. I'm thankful yeah. that I didn't grow up with social media. Me too. And yeah. I, we had a landline. I wasn't allowed to have a phone in my room. My own line. Remember when people would get yeah. to My mom said no. Now oh. I get it. She's yeah. like, no, you don't have your own line. I mm -hmm. need to know who's yeah. calling you and at what time. Yeah. Which I thought was really smart. I worry for May because yeah. I know I get anxious sometimes. I have to take a break from social media, unfortunately. I wish I didn't have to do it at all, but we have to because, yeah. you know, the it's compar our job. Comparison but is I real. compare myself just to moms. Yeah, exactly. Like, and I get anxiety, so I can't imagine. May, I just am going to have to think of what age I would allow her to have mm -hmm. an account, and I'd have to really, really regulate it. Because to me, I see this, and I'm like, okay, remember AOL Instant Messenger? Parents are like, don't get on it. Kids were still getting on it. Yeah. And so there's a way around it. They're still smoking, even though you say no. Yeah. So how old would you let your kids be to get on social media? I told them they may have a phone between 14 and 16 if they show that they are responsible enough mm -hmm. and accountable enough. Um, but I am one of those that does not like screens in the house. Mm. I don't like them to be on phones. Um, just because I think the generation between us and little kids now, they were the grand experiment mm -hmm. of screens. And now we're starting to see what the outcome is. Yeah, it's crazy because even in music class, mm -hmm. um, May, you know, she's 15 months old, but the music teacher told the parents, hey, you need to do one-on-one -on -one time with your children mm -hmm. so that they're learning how to speak. We're so much screen-oriented. And I will say, the kids go right for the phones in the class. Well, yeah, because it's, it's glittery. Cause yeah. It yeah. Oh, yeah, we're terrible examples, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I'm not in this position yet. It makes me incredibly nervous about what it's going to yeah, be like, it's especially be with tough. AI, and it's going to be tough. Especially with friends, too. Mm -hmm. They're going to have That's friends it. peer pressuring them into yeah. it. And, and I hate, though, when you have, I've had family members, and the kids are on their phone all the time, and they're not talking to you, mm -hmm. and I'm like, no, 
Put that down. Yeah, I had to be bored, you have to be bored. Exactly. <laughs> and like my mom said, bored, you don't say that word. Pick up a book. Yes. You're not bored. There's always something to be doing. And, and bored is, is, is the ingenuity of our, of our generation, I think. Yeah. So, anyways. Yeah. So, <laughs> go on and on. Yes, what do you guys said. think? You can always weigh in over on social media.